So the Seaside Holiday event just dropped in Shiny Nikki, and even though the suits look kind of plain compared to all of our other fancy dresses, I think they're cooler than they seem. Kind of sus of paper though, since this is our second double SSR event in a row. And with that, welcome to my first video ever, guys. I'm sorry, literally. <laughs> a fellow Shiny Nikki player, and I'll be giving you a speed guide to the Seaside Holiday event. Then, I'll critique the suits and explain how useful I think they'll be for styling. Watch till the end cause I'll prove my point by trying to style the parts from the suits I get with my limited wardrobe. Okay, so I'm on the event screen in game. Click on visit our island and you're gonna see a bunch of stages that you can unlock by completing previous ones. Go through them as normal and you'll get popsicles. These are extremely easy but you need to pull the event suits if you want to get all of the popsicles. After you complete day one, you unlock the harder special stages that will give paper cranes and a day two which will give more popsicles. And other stages will unlock in a few days. Then go to the seaside booth where you can exchange the paper cranes for all these yummy materials. And make sure to collect your holiday gifts which unlocks depending on how many popsicles you get. The last important part of the event is the seaside journal because you can get a lot of free pulls or cerulean tickets there by completing all the quests. You can get up to 10 pulls in total, which is great. Now that we all know how the event works, let's move on to the actual critiquing. But before that, please like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, or else I'll curse you with that RNG forever. Okay, I'm gonna go pull now and unlock the suit, so be right back. Okay, so I finally finished pulling and I completed the suits with around 13k diamonds. I missed them already. <laughs> I think these suits are quite refreshing and cute. The strength of simple suits like these is that they're versatile and pair well with many casual outfits. And also, I'm sold on the accessories. I mean, just look at the super cool glasses. Even though they make no sense. Let's talk about Before the Dawn first. I think the most useful parts from the suit are the beret, the jacket, and hair since braids are epic and I don't see a lot of other hairstyles in game like this. Ooh, it has shiny strands too. I love the beret since it's kind of transparent and looks like something that can be used for a lot of casual outfits to give them that slightly futuristic feel. I think it's the most unique part of the suit actually. The socks or hosiery are not going to be useful at all though, since they look too white on the darker skin tones, and overall just look plastic. Here, let me show you. See? I don't think the dress is versatile either since it's one piece. I wish it was disconnected since the skirt would have been so cute separate. So comment down below if you agree with me right now. Ta-da! New swimwear. Any comment? Let's move on to Summer Sea Breeze, which is delicious. The watery glasses, the ducky backpack, the hair, sandals, and popsicle are the most unique and useful parts of the suit for me. The hair is one of the few without bangs, so I'm sold on just that. With the popsicle, we finally have food as a prop and not just like another boring purse, so yay. I can definitely see these accessories being used for any summery or refreshing theme, and giving them some life. Also, I think the ducky backpack is just so adorable since you can shake it and the water moves. Like, just look at it, it's so cute. Even though it's stupid, like, what's Nick even gonna use it for? A fish tank? Anyway, the jacket seems least useful since I can see it clipping or being incompatible to a lot of stuff. Since it has long sleeves and it looks cartoony with the ice cream patterns, so it'll probably be restrictive. I also kind of like the straw hat, but since it has ice cream cones on it, it'll probably be hard to style unless you're going for a food theme. I don't like the monotone color of the ice cream earrings, and I don't see myself using the ice cube hair accessories either. There are floating ice cream effects around the suit, but only if you wear the dress. 
Overall, what makes these suits awesome and worth it for me is some of the accessories, since the main dresses are just meh, at least in my opinion. With that said, let me go test out the suits. So, what I'm doing right now is challenging myself to make two outfits. The first will be mainly using the swimsuit, and the second will be with the idol outfit. I noticed that the Ice Cube hair accessory changes positions with different hairstyles, which I find pretty cute. And I'm done, let's go! The accessories are so fun to style with. Alright, I'm gonna move on to the second outfit now. This is gonna be my favorite coat until I get something different since I barely have any coats. And I'm gonna speed this up again now. Finished. I don't know why I gave her a gun, <laughs> but I think the jacket looks really good with dark skin tones, so I don't regret getting it. So are you gonna pull for the suits? Do you think they're worth our precious diamonds? Talk to me in the comments below and I'll definitely reply if I can, cause I have no life. 